hi this is stephanie welcome to my channel for those of you who are here for the very first time welcome and for those of you returning welcome back if you have not subscribed to my channel already i would love to have you as part of my family just click that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future today i am talking about the keto diet i have been on it for 12 weeks not strict because I did go off of it. I think for two weeks I went to Vegas for a week. And then for my birthday I went to St. Kitts. And I really didn't do it then either. However, I'm going to go through my results. I started at week one and I weighed 164.8 pounds. And currently today and today is 10.6. I weigh 157.8 so I have lost a total of 7 pounds in 12 weeks. That is not a lot compared to some people but I am trying to do this vegan. I do however it's not strictly 100% vegan. I have been eating um, some meat as well as eggs here and they are not every single day. However I just want to make that disclaimer that this is not a fully 100% vegan so total weight loss is seven pounds i list up here in the corner of my actual weight over each week so you can see that from week to week as i said in my previous videos usually the week of my period like right before or during i tend to have weight gain and not loss so that will be indicated in orange and then the week that i went on vacation those two will be indicated in a yellow so that you can see that's the variation of my weight. However, since the last time of my last update, if you want to see the other ones, just click up this little eye up here and it'll link you to my other. I think it was either two or three, maybe three updates that I've done thus far. So click there to see the other ones. But as of my last update, I think it was at week seven, maybe. Yeah maybe six not sure but i think it was either week five I don't, have, I don't even have my phone in here to look but i think my last update was either week six or week seven that was 824 and i weighed 161.2 and then the next week 831 i weighed 158.2 so this is from 158.2 to 157.8 <clears throat> which is not a lot of weight loss in between that time i went on vacation from the 23rd of september until the 30th and i actually gained 3.6 pounds it was also during my period week as well so some of the weight is from that and some of it is from food while i was on vacation i ate potatoes i ate cookies chips i ate everything i ate ice cream i ate a bunch of stuff that is not keto friendly or on the keto diet at all but i did try to eat a lot of fiber to counteract with the carbs that i was eating and what i've noticed since i've been back and trying to get back on the keto diet is that because i don't know if i'm gonna do it um because of the restrictions however what i have noticed is that my blood sugar has gone back up when i was doing keto my blood sugar stayed around the 90s it may go up to maybe 101 102 somewhere but usually it stayed within the 90s a few times it was also in the 80s as of today well, at the beginning of this week, it was in the 40s, 141, high 130s. And when I took it this morning, it was 122. Yesterday, it was 116 and it went down. But I had a little bit too many carbs yesterday, so it went up. So what I have noticed is that I am going to have to still stick to a lower-carb diet if I do not want to go on any type of medication for my pre-diabetes um, that can turn into diabetes so i'm still going to monitor that i'm going to monitor my sugar levels as well as my ketone levels i can't say that i did not go out of ketosis the entire time that i was on vacation even though i ate those things i monitored it did go low one day on a keto mojo monitor it had low lo and it didn't register and that's all it said but all the rest of the days it actually registered 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.5 whatever it was it registered on it today when i took it it was at 0 0.8 so i am still in ketosis which is a good thing however i still need to get my blood sugar back down and i think when my blood sugar is lower my ketone levels are higher. So usually my blood sugar is around 90 something and my ketones are around 1.8, 2.13. So that is usually my normal in between those. My ketone levels run very high 
when my sugar run lo runs low and when my sugar runs high my ketone levels run very very low so i do notice that when i tend to use the restroom more um to get rid of fat and and, and fluids is when my ketone level is around maybe 1.2 and my sugars in, are in the 90s, I tend to just go to the bathroom a lot. That's when I know I've hit the right amount of carbs and protein and fat for the day. So I really need to get that in tune as far as that's concerned. And you'll be able to tell your body gives you signs. Everybody's body is completely 100% different. So you have to listen to your body. You have to monitor it. Log your food and stuff every single day so that you're aware of when you are at that height of level as far as getting rid of fat you know it from that day and then you can monitor what you've eaten that day and what your levels are for that day because you know some people say you need to eat 15 percent protein 10 percent carbs and then 75 percent fat you know some people say that but that doesn't work for everybody you have to figure that out for yourself and with your own body and how you're losing weight and you can tell it i know well i can say i can tell it because of the way that i go to the restroom and especially if you're trying to do it vegan just watch that because all vegetables have a lot of carbs in them some have more than others i stick to the dark green leafy carbs because they're more i mean vegetables because they're more high in fiber so they're better for you and I try to eat some cooked and some raw which helps me out a lot. The thing about it is it's getting in the fat and not going over your protein and a lot of times my issue usually was if I if I was trying to get in a lot of fat I usually got in too much protein because I didn't like doing the fat using the oils. I prefer to get my fats from food so I was eating avocados which is has I think six grams of protein in it and I was doing chia seeds um, which is high in fat but also has protein in it as well as carbs so you just have to figure out a good ratio for you for the foods that you like I discovered a, a milkshake that I made with, with chia seeds and flax seeds and things along those lines I may have had it in what I eat what I eat in a day I'll link that up here as well my my keto what I eat in a day so you can see that I it actually is very good i'm still drinking it on a regular i like it a lot it would be even better if you could put bananas in it however that is not keto friendly so anyways that is my keto update i won't say that i'm going to be strictly 100 percent keto um after this 12 weeks progress because i just don't like all of the restrictions i prefer to eat fruits i prefer to eat apples i don't have to eat a lot of fruits but i prefer to eat apples every day which i'm going to put back in because when i was on vacation i actually ate apples but apples are higher in fiber and i stuck to berries for my fruit so i'm going to go back with that well some days i ate some cantaloupe and honeydew melon which are pretty much high in sugar they're very sweet so i'm going to eliminate those but i am going to put back in fruits and some vegetables in and i ate potatoes just about every day not all fries some days i think one day i ate uh, french fries i was at the pool and got a sandwich and it came with french fries and i ate them but i was eating baked potatoes and then i had the medley with the purple and the white and the red potatoes and i guess it just didn't shoot my my um sugar up too high so i'm going to experiment with that and 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 check my blood sugar after i eat them uh, at least 15 minutes to an hour and see how it does because that's really what you find out how your body works you just take your measurements with your blood to figure that out to see how foods react because some foods spike some people's sugar and some foods not like i can eat what was i eating hummus hummus was not spiking my blood sugar at all it was not throwing me out of ketosis so i've been eating that the entire time well midway through i started eating it because i tried it to see if it would and it did not so it worked for me and i probably go back to eating black beans um black beans as well as kibonza beans and put that back into my diet and see how it goes so i'll give you guys an update probably in about a month or so to let you know how my weight loss is going because i still have about 10 pounds to lose so i'm at one what am i at 157.8 i want to get to between 145 and 150 is my goal weight that i think i want to be at i'll see once i get there if it's if i want to be more i know i mean if i want to be less i know i don't want to be more so i'm trying to stay in between that range so anyways 
that is it for my keto update i will do an additional update in the future probably in about a month letting you know where i am with my weight loss journey if i decided to stay stick to the 100 percent keto because of my sugar levels or if i'm just going to try to go down the road of just incorporating something in with carbs and seeing how it works with my body but i will give you an update so that is it once again i would like to thank you guys for stopping by my channel thank you guys for going with me on this keto diet journey and if you have any questions comment below and let me know i, I respond to all of my comments because my channel is not big enough not to so i respond to all of my comments so yeah that is it thank you guys for stopping by and i look forward to seeing you all in my very next video <laughs> bye bye